Let's see how to tell when three lengths indeed form a triangle. So the way to do that is to take your three lengths, for example here 3, 8, and 2, and to reorganize them from smallest to largest. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite them as 2, 3, and 8. And then take the two smaller lengths and get their sum. So 2 and 3 have a sum of 5. And 5 happens to be less than 8, which means that these three sides do not form a triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and write no triangle. And here's why, in a visual sense, this works. So what I'm going to do is take the longest length, 8, and lay it along the ground. And that length represents the shortest path from the start, say a point over here, to the finish, a point over there. And any other path will necessarily be longer than 8. And if we try to use these other two segments of 2 and 3, one of them might go up from this endpoint only a length of 2, and the other one will go up maybe from this endpoint a length of 3, and they're not long enough to create that alternate path that has to be longer than 8. Okay, let's now look at this second example, 5, 9, and 14. These are already organized from smallest to largest, so all I have to do now is take the two small ones and add them together. And when I add 5 and 9, I get 14. And 14 happens to equal the length of the, of the longest side, which is 14. And you might think to yourself, hey, if they're equal, that must be long enough. But again, we don't really get a triangle. If the original length, the longest length, is 14 here, the 5 and the 9 would have to lay flat against this 14. And they don't create any height to form a triangle. So here again, no triangle is possible. Let's now look at the third case that I've put here. And in this third case, we have the lengths 7, 13, and 11. So like before, we'll reorganize these from smallest to largest. So that will be 7, 11, and 13. And when we add up our two smallest lengths here, we get 18. And 18 happens to be longer than 13. So it looks like we can make a triangle. And if we lay the longest side down as 13, we can see that when we have 7 coming up from one endpoint and 11 coming up from the other endpoint, they are indeed long enough to create a path that connects. So those two lengths can form a triangle with length 13. And the next question you might be asking yourself is, OK, so those three lengths, 7, 13, and 11, form a triangle. But what kind of triangle do they form? And that we'll save for another video. That's it.